Hi, folks. Trey with Clearly Homemade. I apologize for the mess. Totally forgot what time it was. Um, Hubs had to go to the store today. So, I forgot to set everything up because I'm terrible at this game. But I have a few things that I'm working on. Um, I am trying to do an octopus. Hi, Jay. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing an octopus today. Um, try work on it. Maybe do a necklace. I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do. We will see. But whatever I do, I'm going to do it in half an hour, which is a whole lot of fun. Let me just bring up my thing. And then... Apologize. There we go. Yes. Totally forgot Holy time. cow. Forgot to turn the volume off. Great. Okay, so let's get this stuff taken care of. How are we doing on the camera? There we go. It's on a slant. One day, one day I'll have that really awesome camera. Um, I did get some dowels. So I got some more. You know, there's no such thing as too many. And my child was sick. So hold on a second. Well, I thought he was sick, but uh, let me see here. Okay, I don't know why the thing is still making noise. Oh, great. Okay, so I do have my kissing beholder. Um, I have apparently a thousand phones that all want to make noise right now. Good times. Good times. Well, I use a phone for. Um, taking pictures because it's better than my camera for some reason. Okay, so I do want to get this octopus done. I know I got to get these done, but whatever. We're going to wait. Gonna wait. I do want to get an octopus. Now, when I did an octopus last time, it ended up turning into Cthulhu, and I don't want that this time. I want an actual octopus. I've been having a problem with eyeballs because I just biggest problem that I have with my figurines. And since you guys are here, it's not snakes. No, we're doing an octopus. We're doing an octopus. Um, I do want to show you guys. No, I'm not going to show you. It's all over there. Okay. Yeah, snakes. I should make snakes. Well, I did snakes already. My gorgon's not. Okay. So let's get... You know what? Let's not skimp on the clay. Let's get some good size. Now, I did an octopus going up a wine glass. That was really neat. I really liked how that came out. I think this is actually probably more of a squid than an octopus. And we're definitely going to try not to go with the Hail Hydra. You know. Yeah, it's funny. Okay. So, I am going to be um, mica powdering these guys. I'm using white for right now. We're going to do kind of like a small octopus rather than a big one. We can be super creepy. I do have some eyes already made. I just had them. And my whole life is just a mess, an absolute mess. I got some pre made eyes over here. Remember, I paint all of my eyes. And the biggest issue I have is doing more than one. You know what? That'll work. An eye there, an eye right there. Oh, big crazy eyeballs. Great. Okay, you have eyes. So let's go. Now we're going to be using just a plain mat for right now. I changed it out. Try not to promote too much stuff. It's just, Michelle, I think you were here for the snakes. I'm going to six on the machine because I still want to have something light. Okay, so we now know where the eyes are going to go. They're going to go right there. What I can do is I can put a placeholder on it. I do have extras. Let's see, I got a thing of eyes. These are actually, I'm um, taking the eyes off. Okay, so these are not going to be long enough, but that's fine. You know, I want to do an armature. And as you know, an armature is when you make something, um, aluminum foil, uh, paper, what have you, and then you use it to give you an idea of what you're going to be doing with your clay. Uh, it helps cut down the amount of clay you have, as well as add some durability to it. Some strength, not durability, strength. So we're going to take some white clay. Now, when I did my octopus last time, I um, 
I like to do mixed media. And by that, I mean um, not just clay. Uh, I used um, beads as well. I think that's what I'm going to be doing this time too. Now, I'm not sure my little octopus is going to turn into to be anything. It be a necklace. It could be a crazy earring or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to get the octopus to be curled over a little bit. Of course, we're going to go ahead and smush it down. Oh my goodness. Just finished dinner. I'm just like, oh my goodness, what time is it? Because I'm playing on my computer. We're watching um, a movie called I Am Mother. And um, it's kind of scary, I think. I already cried, because whatever. And then last night we watched AI, and I cried. I cried so hard at that one. Just crying. Okay. So, okay, let's just cover these guys up, because I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing with these. This. I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing tonight. Think about playing video games. I haven't done that in a while. No, oh, this is the most boring part. Let's gonna try to get better with the camera. I'm gonna move this guy over. You're gonna see my lap. We're gonna move you back just to give you um a better look to what we're looking at. Because right now I have a webcam attached to a tripod. To give me that look down look. Okay. Apparently the tape is not doing what I want. Okay, that's fine. Now I can go be down here and you can still see me. I should have done this thinner. I'm gonna cover everything. And we'll see. I might do um I might really do this as a necklace. I want an octopus necklace, not a Cthulhu necklace. Because you know you wear the Cthulhu necklace out and people are like, oh, you're part of a cult. Nobody said that to me. I only wore it once. And I'm told that I'm pretty standoffish, which helps, you know, in person. Or I'll talk you to death because I don't understand how to be socially aware of who I'm talking to. Either way. I figure out what color octopus we're doing. I have a lot of colors. Let's see. Uh, just a little bit of clay to go over it. I'm excited about the eyes. I'm glad I made the eyes the way I did because it'll fit better with the octopus. I try not to do anything like too, too Disney-like, you know, really cute and stuff. Although my figurines, figurines are jamming. I love them. I made a new one. I think I might show you guys the new one that I made. I made, actually, I made two things today. Which is more than I ever do. Usually it takes like you know, one thing over the course of multiple days. Okay. I'm just going to leave a little bit out because that's going to show me where I'm going to put it on the octopus. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. This might end up being Hell Hydra. That's terrible. I don't want to do that. We will see. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make it longer. I wanted to do a tiny octopus and then look at the size of his head. They are. They are very cute. Um, honestly, I'm a really big fan of the dragon and the new one. And that's it. The rest of them don't look nearly as cute as I think they should. Which is a shame. I think they're missing something. You know what? My problem um, when working with clay is I don't really have any airflow so my clay melts on me. And it's very difficult to do um, any kind of specific shapes or any kind of um, I don't know, detail. That's what it is, detail. It's difficult for me to do detail because the clay is all melty. I have tried putting them in the, um, in the freezer or in the refrigerator. There's nothing. The moment it comes back out here, it's all melty again. I cut that head down. Let's see how we got. Oh, we got like 20 minutes left. Let's see how much we can get done in 20 minutes. I already have the, the suction cups picked out, so that's exciting. I'm going to do the same ones I did last time. 
I'm not sure if the octopus is just going to hang out or what he's going to do. It's adventure time, clearly. Wow, I have four people tonight. Hi, Paul. Hi, Sue. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Andrew. Nice to see you guys here. There go. See, look, I'm a little late and everybody shows up to the party. We're doing an octopus today. Or I'm doing an octopus. I don't know what you guys are doing. Let's see. I have more white. I think we're going to have to make him smaller. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Right there. Okay, take this part off. See, I have a little foil. Can't really see it. One day. One day I'll have that webcam. And you're gonna, guys are going to be like, oh my goodness, that's actually what it looks like. It's going to be incredible. Make it small enough so this doesn't look like... I'm trying to remember what the bottom of the body looks like, because I'm not really going for a mind flare here. I'm going to have to look up what the octopus looks like. That's terrible. I know squids have the pinch your mouth. I think there's a possibility of putting a com or picture of a comment. One of you guys can look it up for me. Let's see. Yeah, I know. And then you have the eyes like right here, right? And then the beak is down here, but the beak is for a squid, not the octopus. And I think this is more squid looking than octopus looking. I don't know. We'll have to see what we do. Definitely gonna. You know what? This might end up turning into a cute one. Who knows? Maybe this is my newest sculpture. Oh, speaking of, uh, tomorrow night uh, will be new figurine night. I have an idea for a figurine, and I figured you guys can join me for that. I mean, I made one today. But I might make. I'm thinking about making another one tomorrow. I got some gorgeous colors. Um, I have a coupon. And if I had the money, I would believe me, I would buy some more because I have another coupon. And it's like 40% off all regular price items at Michael's, which is incredible. And all the clay I got on sale. So I got like $40 worth of clay. That's some 20 bucks. Very excited. I do want to get more. There's um, a couple colors that I really, really want that I didn't have in stock. I just want to see if I can find another Michaels that has them. So I want more of the brown. Should be nice. Okay. These are a little pinchy. How many do we got? We got two more? Great. Two more. No, I can't clip it. Can I? Let's see. Can I click it? Uh, let's see more. Oh, there we go. Let me click it on here then. Isn't that a, that's actually needle felting. I do that. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. Let's just look it up. Um, play octopus. No, we don't have any music tonight. Um, see, that's how they do their octopuses. Octopi. Okay, I see what they did. So it's the head and then webbing. Okay, I am right. Okay, so this is the head. And then it's going to come down with the legs, and then it's going to, okay. We're good, we're good, I'm good. I got this. But, 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 so here's the thing, right? So it all depends on how you're going to have this octopus set up, right? Now, is he going to be a figurine, you know, like my other ones? Is he going to be a necklace? Is he going to be, like, a monitor dangler? You know, there's, who knows? And all that's very important. Figure out what we're gonna do. And these people all do red ones. I want to do red ones. Just a little bit. We can always add more. Take it off. Um, I have noticed with my figurines that I'll build like the body and stuff. And then um, yeah, so I'll build the body and then I'll be like, oh well, that's that's a little too thick right there. And I start scrap scraping it back. And if it's not scraped back enough, then I end up having to take the entire thing apart. Yeah, I saw the I saw the octopus bottom. We're gonna do the the head sitting here and then the webbing and stuff. I got I got the idea. We're good. We're good. 
kind of wish we were playing music, but I don't have a door. And I don't know what my husband is watching with my child. It might be that robot death show. Oh, there we go. I might do the hat. I'm not sure about a chalice. Now, are you talking like Holy Grail chalice? Like, um, like a glass? Do I have one? Yeah. Not really. Not one I can use anyway. You could have like a cane. You know, like a pink cane. Octopus. Sounds like a disease. Okay. <laughs> We're not supposed to say things like that. Can I get the eyes here? Great. So the eyes and the head. This is white. Turn, let's see if we turn this off. Can you see better? Oh, just a little bit better. Okay. I'm not using my desk lamp today because reasons. Okay. Eyeballs. Now, we're going to put the eyeballs on the side. And I think, let me put, um, I actually have a thing of clay that I use to make my eyeballs. And I'm going to put them like this. And then I have noticed if I put them on, when I start maneuvering it around, um, it'll end up smearing, even though there's, you know, on there. But it's like acrylic paint. So we're going to do this and let it dry while I work on the rest of the body. What the heck? That small. Get a bigger one? Get a bigger one. Okay. So what I do... Get some white. Pull back the white. And I sit it in front of the fan that I have here. I love my fan. I'm not ready to put like some smelly stuff. Oh, Michelle, remind me that I need to get the honeysuckle stuff. Make um wax smells with honeysuckle. That'd be awesome, right? Okay, so this guy painted right in front of the fan. Great. Like, my desk was for everything, and right now it's for, um, it's for clay. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Clay. Oh! Oh! So, just in case you guys didn't remember, and this is something that you need to remember, Father's Day is Sunday. I have not posted anything in the group for Father's Day, because I am terrible, and I forgot. Whatever. So, okay. I need to go like this, and then... How do we want to do this? Let's do some white. Here, white, white, white. They might need to do some white. Why is your house smelling like peppermint? Oh, you're using, no. My melts are in peppermint. What are you using that smells like peppermint? I need to know. I'm using scrap clay right now for this. Because, um, why not? I do, I do have some extra beige. Yeah, I know you don't care. Um, I get to show you guys what I'm making for Billy. Um, he picked out the design because I cheat. So, with me, he actually has to go buy a gift and stuff. Uh, I gotta make sure this works. Um, this is beige. It's called the Primo Beige. So we're going to use some beige stuff. But uh, yeah, so Billy has to go out with Bruce and be like, oh, what are we getting for Mother's Day, you know, or something, or my birthday, because he has to buy stuff. I make everything. I'm cheating. He sprayed the carpets with peppermint. That smells really nice. Sounds really nice. Okay. So with this guy, he's going to need to sit up a little bit, so we have to figure out what we're doing with that. Now, it doesn't make a difference what color clay, because as everybody knows, I'm going to just mic it powder it anyway and give it a nice shimmer. But I think, I think it's time that we get one of these. Let's start figuring out how we're going to hold this guy up. He's like this. So I'm going to look at that picture again. And he just sits there. Okay, I see what they did. I got it. Sits there like this. Once the eyes are done, we'll put them in here. Give it nice eyelids. And now like this. This is why it's important 
that you paint or that you paint the eye fully also. That's another thing too. Um, because you can use different color clay and your eyes are going here. And if it was just, you know, not painted, then you're going to see the different colors for it. I need to do, no, I'm just going to keep this picture up so I can look at it. So how do they, so it goes like this. It's like this more. I do have a lot of white. I just don't really feel like, um, what you call it? Not really the eyes right there. There we go. Okay. I just don't feel like needing it and stuff, like running through the machine. It takes forever. It's like ham or skin. That's why I like this stuff. No, it means the white first. Well, we're going to need it for. That. Okay, this is on a nine. Then that nine is. We're gonna need that to do um, the bits in between to do the webbing for it. Now this doesn't necessarily need to be that long, but I'm just doing placeholders right now. Okay, let me make sure that we're gonna get everything we need. Okay, I'm actually looking at somebody else's sculpture. I cannot replicate 100%, but sometimes it's nice to have a visual, you know, of what you're doing. Some of them look, oh, those are for kids. So that would make sense why they would look like that. I'm not sure if I really want the octopus, you know, fully squished. You know, some of them have it like all squished up. I don't think that's very fun for the octopus. Let me take this guy off. I'm gonna do white on here, especially because it's that close to the eye. You can see any things you can change your mind, even if you hear that. Great. That's right there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to do. I'm going to need to redo this one because that needs to be thicker. Yeah, I know. Yes, I'm just reading it now. I know that you do um, essential oils. I shouldn't only put it down, but I thought peppermint's bad for dogs. Well. And it does nothing for spiders. They don't care. I want spiders in my house anyway. If I could, I would just spray the entire outside type of and have all the spiders come in. So that would be amazing. There we go. We got one, two, three. Webbing. This is four. I'm going to cut these in half. I feel like most of my clang is rolling into snakes. Okay. See what we have here. So it goes down, and then we're gonna have the webbing pretty low. Well, peppermint is supposed to deter spiders for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why. A lot of the stuff they come up with is a bunch of hooey. To be honest with you, like people are trying to find like you know what it is. It's it's um. I think the word is causation. It's not real. It's like. If you go to the dentist and you take, um, I'm not excited either. Okay. Um, let's say for instance, you go to a store and you eat candy and then you walk out of the store and you fall and you break your leg. People could say that, you know, I broke my leg because I ate some candy. No, you broke your leg because you're a klutz, you know, or somebody or a car hits you or something like that. But people put down peppermint and all of a sudden they didn't see as many spiders or something. And then they're like, oh, well, peppermint gets rid of spiders. But it was probably something else, like they were smoking. That's so weird. I think I need to know the head. And this is what we're going to run into, is that it's going to go 
under. Okay, so these pieces need to go under. Got it. Okay, we got one, two, five. I'm pretty sure the word is causation. Yeah, there you go. Correlation. See, that's why I have you come on my videos for because my brain stops sometimes. Okay, this is a little too thick. This guy is so supposed to be on something. So we're going to have the rest of them back here. Let me go ahead and cut these guys. Um, that big. That's where the webbing is going to go down to. Oh, yeah, no, that'd be awesome. Then you would know where the spiders are, you know, and you won't be like me. Well, no. Okay, so that also is, is not very good, and I'm, I'm going to give you a why. So it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and, you know, I'm an insomniac at times and I needed to use the restroom so I'm sitting there minding my own business because you know it's free time and stuff like that <laughs> Pretty funny. I should make one of those I should make one of those for Halloween um so we got six we got two more back here okay so I'm I'm you know using the restroom and stuff like that taking my time because the house is quiet my child is not there to to do child things and um spider it happened to look out the door and a spider was galloping down my hallway so yes and i do mean galloping like this thing was was immense and i like spiders right i'm all like totally spider friendly house blah 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 however what i don't like are giant spiders and i don't like being surprised um i have anxiety for being surprised i've actually had somebody do a jump out scare on me and i sat down and had a crying anxiety attack because I don't mess around like that. So, you gotta figure out how this goes. But, can you imagine three o'clock in the morning and all of a sudden, and it's quiet, house is quiet, you know, you're reading a book or you know, you're doing whatever you're doing. And then all of a sudden, peppermint, you know, you smell peppermint. That'd just be terrible. And then you know it was like a giant spider. Yeah, you know, the worst part about the spider, actually, we're almost done here tonight, um, but we are definitely going to be working on this. I think I'm going to have him sit on a rock. About this big, too. Ah! <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so, the, um, I had to catch the spider to get him out of the house, because it was a big spider, and while I do appreciate them, I don't want them trotting around my house like that. And, um, what ended up happening is I quickly finished what I was doing much, much, much quicker than I originally anticipated. And I was able to find the spider where he went, you know, cause he went out the side. So I didn't see him cause he was outside of the, the door of the bathroom. And, um, how <laughs> I had to find him and I put, um, my, uh, my towels and stuff to get washed on the, like, um, by a hamper I have specifically for towels and dish rags and stuff like that. So <laughs> the thing was crawling on this pile. So I had to go get a box and then I had to follow him. And then mind you, I had to be quiet because everybody's sleeping and I had to take the box and I caught him and then I'm like, okay, so I scooped him up. I'm like, great. So we're going to go outside. Right. But this is where it gets worse. Okay. So after having to find this galloping spider and, and then, you know, trying not to freak her out because of how big it was. I brought it outside, you know, and I opened the box. I was very carefully, okay, no, so I had them in a the box, right? And you know, some Amazon boxes have like the, the strings on it. Well, the string was tickling my finger and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, the spider got out. So I'm freaking out. And um, I go outside and I'm like, okay, you know, it was just the string. And then I go to take them outside and I go ahead and I partially open it and I shake it, right? But I didn't hear a spider fall out. I didn't see a spider fall out and I tilted it and there was no spider in the box. I ran inside and tried not to cry. It was horrifying. It was, you know what? I, I was, I did. I ended up throwing the box away. I'm like, Oh no, I'm not, I'm not doing that box. So that's, that's me with the spider. It was, it was traumatic. 
and but that's not the biggest spider I've encountered in Florida. I mean, I, I've seen a huntsman spider, and the thing is like this big, like two of my hands. <laughs> and it was um, we were in our the second place we ever lived, and this place was awful. I mean, there was like a meth lab down the street. I mean, it was just a terrible, terrible place to live. So, and my brother in law was living with us. And we were in the living room, you know, mind our business and stuff like that. And all of a sudden I see his face and his face like stopped. I'm like, oh, what's going on? And he looks up at the, at the ceiling, like where the ceiling and the, and the wall meets. And like, I mean, it's like, like maybe it was probably like two feet from my face. And the spider is this big, <laughs> just sitting there on the wall. Um, I screamed. I very, very much screamed. Um... I had a, I had an almost anxiety seizure. Like I was curled up on myself, uh, trying to not like, you know, be horribly freaking out as bad as I was. And my husband is, you know, coming out of the room, out of the bedroom down the hall, but he refuses to come any closer than like the middle of the hallway to see what was going on. But luckily his, his brother was, was a champ that night and um, was able to get that giant huntsman spider out of the house. So, so that was that was pretty horrifying. Oh, and speaking of, um, hold on, here we go, correlation and causation, right? So he believed, we had a, um, a real life Christmas tree that year. So my husband believed that by having the real life Christmas tree, the giant spider came out. However, he thought the giant uh, tree, the tree caused the giant spider to come in the house. That's incorrect. I found the molt of the spider before the tree even came in. So, but he won't let us have a, a real Christmas tree. And that is that. Okay, so um, that is the end of our Friday night impromptu. I'm probably gonna go play some video games while I, you know, play around with something that looks like a spider right here. This is all gonna get worked on. Um, definitely gonna get something going on with this guy down here. Stop. Great. Stop, so I'm gonna get bro. these guys attached. And then we're going to see what he's going to do. He might have his arm around stuff. So thank you very much for joining me with my story of the spider. Um, I definitely will be doing uh, a spider uh, spider with candy cane legs. That's actually a really easy cane to do. It's just red and white twisted. So that would actually be pretty neat, you know, with the hooks and stuff like that. So we're definitely going to have to see something um, for that. I just have to, you know, get some red, you know, get more white for that. But I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I really do. Um, this is going to be an octopus. I'm not sure how we're going to do the octopus yet, what it's going to be sitting on and stuff. But of course, everything is going to be, you know, fixed up a little bit. But I really appreciate you guys uh, joining me with my tales tonight. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night. I will be doing a live event. I am going to either, no, 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 tomorrow we're not going to talk about the spiders. Uh, so I'm either going to be doing a glass, because I did get a glass, or I'm going to be doing a figure, and I'm not really sure what. But until tomorrow, I hope you guys have a great night, and as always, um, I look forward to creating with you. Have a nice night.